Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a bizarre form of ice or water. What if I tell you that ice can be ultra hot? Well, it does seem bizarre, but this type of ice actually exists in the universe. What's more interesting is that the existence of this type of ice is predicted to be found in the ice giant planet, such as Neptune and Uranus. The discovery of super ionic ice or water potentially solved the puzzle of complex magnetic fields of ice giant planets, and it also explained what they are made up of. Super ionic ice is a frozen water that remains solid at thousands of degrees of heat. Well, in a predictable way, the pool of hydrogen atoms blocks the light from passing through the ice, which results its black appearance. There are actually 18 types of ices based upon its crystal lattice structure. For example, ice 1, ice 2, ice 3 and so on till ice 18. Among all the types of ices, ice 1 which is also known as normal ice occurs in two different forms. Ice H and Ice C. Ice H stand for stable hexagonal and Ice C stand for metastable cubic lattice structure. And the one we are discussing right now is Ice 18, the super ionic ice. Super ionic ice claims to be a new crystal, but with a twist. Because all the previously known ices are made up of intact water molecules, which means each oxygen atom is linked with two hydrogen atoms as you can see in this image. But super ionic ice isn't like that. It exists in a different way. The oxygen atom forms a cubic lattice but the hydrogen atoms spill free, flowing like a liquid through the solid cage of oxygen. Temperature and pressure required to achieve the state of the super ionic ice is around 2000 Kelvin and 100 gigapascal. Under these conditions, the water molecule breaks. With the oxygen atoms locked in the cubic lattice, the hydrogen atoms start to jump from one position in the crystal to another. The jumps between lattice sides are so fast that the hydrogen atoms, which are ionized, making them essentially charged protons which appear to move like a liquid. This suggests that super ionic ice would conduct electricity like a metal with hydrogen atom playing the role of electron. Having these loose hydrogen atoms flowing around also increase ice's entropy. The increase in entropy of ice would make it much stable than the other type of ice crystal, which causes its melting point to be much higher. All that was easier to imagine but hard to trust. So in 1988, scientists conduct their research on super ionic ice. And in 2018, they finally found the evidence that this type of ice actually exists. To achieve this state, scientists put the water in a container containing diamond and hit the diamond with the lasers. When the laser hit the surface of diamond, it vaporized the material upward, which effectively rocketing the diamond away in the opposite direction and released a shockwave through the ice. After confirming its existence, they also verified that super ionic ice did conduct electricity due to the movement of protons. At last, with the help of X-ray diffraction, researchers come to the conclusion that its, its structure was really cubic, with the oxygen atom every corner and the center of each phase between the flood of hydrogen atoms. 